So let me tell you about the different options of being a CISO employer, because there are different ways to be a CISO employer. Um, so the, the, the first one is uh, what I'm calling the direct employer. We kind of renamed it ourselves, didn't we, Fernando, to make it easier. But some people know it as CISO phase one. And these are people that uh, are able to direct their own care themselves and will manage the whole system by themselves and they don't need somebody else. Do it. it doesn't mean I don't ask a friend to give me a hand or whatever, right? right? Sure. But I'm in a position to be able to handle it all. Handle it all. Um, so I become the direct employer, uh, you know, that I'm responsible for the funding and all of its supports and hiring the people and things. Um, and we already mentioned that you could hire someone to assist you uh, through the bookkeeping end of things. Mm -hmm. Then there is what they call the client support group, which uh, is different from a microboard. Um, the, the client support group is very specific to the CECL program. Um, and this is where you, the similar part is you develop a nonprofit society of about five people, and the five people are working with you to manage your support. It has to and be a nonprofit society. It has to be a nonprofit society. So they register. So they have to register uh, uh -huh. with the government. Uh, the okay. uh, the health authority provides you all of the documents you need to oh, do that. Okay. Um, so if I was to do that, it would be the Paul Goche Client Support Group Society. And five is the magic number. Is that five is the magic number of people, and uh, the person who uh, is receiving the supports yes. can be the fifth person as well. Uh, I see. So five, so no more, no, le no less than five. No more than five. Or um, it can be more than five, and it is recommended to have at least half of the people in the same province as you or in the similar area where you live. Right. So that the idea here is that yes. the client support group is going to help you in regards to managing things. Um, uh, the microboard system, um, uh, Linda Perry and those guys are, are great at speaking about that, but uh, what's nice about the microboard is it takes in not just your home support side of things, but all aspects of your life. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Where uh, through the Ministry of Health side, yep. uh, the client support group uh, can only be specific to your home support needs, and you can't use the money for anything else other than your home support needs. Gotcha. The newest option uh, here, which has been great, is the representation agreements. I think you've done some discussions on rep agreements, have nope. you? Uh, oh, you haven't. No, nope, no. Nope. So uh, representation agreements are fantastic because um, it allows it allows for you to be able to designate someone at times when you're not able to manage to manage for you. Um, and you know, a rep agreement can handle all aspects of different things from your financials to your, your medical health and things like that. I'm not an expert in that area, but uh, uh, NIDIS, uh, uh, Joanne Taylor and those guys uh, would be, I'd recommend doing a session mm -hmm. with them one time because they're, they are fantastic and they, they've got a great little uh, presentation and uh, I really believe everyone should have a representation agreement in place. What's the uh, group called? Uh, NIDIS. Please vote. NIDIS. N-I-D-U-S. Uh, uh, N-I-D-U-S. Okay. Yeah, so, um, okay. so, but this is, uh, oh, and we actually have it in our PowerPoint here, actually at the bottom, you're on top of it already, uh, which is uh, NIDIS Personal Planning and Resource Center. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right yeah. So, yeah. So, really great resource, and again, the representation agreement is a very powerful agreement, actually. And so even if you are a CECL employer, yes. uh, like myself, I have a representation agreement. And it only comes into effect for me when I'm not able to manage on my own. So that is, so those are the three options um, of moving forward. Uh, you know what's really great about the representation agreement is that, you know, before it was only when you had five people, right? Okay. And, and quite often, Fernando, they ended up, uh, most people, there was always one person that was doing all the work days, right? So the rep agreement allows for that one person to do the right. work yeah, and not course. have to go through, through a whole process. Gotcha. 